My name is Joseph Orr. I'm a student in NEC E2900 this semester, and for my design project with Arduino, I decided to do a tuba tuner. So, since I'm a marching band, I've always got a razz on Michigan a little bit. That's kind of the design I went for. But as you can see, um, it's just a very basic uh, tuner, and um, I'll go ahead and show you what's inside. Okay. So as you can see, uh, I made it sure it was inside a shoebox so you can get inside easily. That was one of my design requirements. Very simple brains on the inside. Um, you can see I've got a microphone here, a sound sensor that I've got used fast. It's using fast Fourier transform to analyze the audio in real time. I've got an IR sensor here that uses uh, the input from an IR remote. I've also got an RGB LED that shows the closeness to pitch if you're in tuning mode sticking out here, and I've got an LCD screen that displays your current pitch in hertz. All right, let's get started. Um, so first I wanted to display the pitch mode, and the pitch mode just has a drone note that you can listen to for a pitch in your head, and you uh, pick a series of 20 notes um, between B flat one and F3 that I've laid out uh, using a buzzer. Now, the low notes on the buzzer don't come out very well, so I've multiplied the frequency by two. So let's go ahead and see what happens when I plug it in. Okay, now it prompts you to press play and pause to get started, so I'll aim at the IR sensor and press that. And that wants us to select a mode, either tune or pitch, and in this case, we're gonna hit pitch. So we're going to hit up. And now we get the selected note. So let's go ahead and uh, let's just do F, which would be 5. And now we have to pick a lower high octave. And I'll go ahead and pick a high octave. And it should play the note for 5 seconds. Okay, and so while it's displaying, uh, while it's playing the pitch, it just uh, reads out the frequency that it's playing at. Okay, let's go ahead and try out the tuning mode. Now that we've seen pitch mode, let's get started with tuning mode. So a note that I figured would work well is B2. So let's go ahead and get through the menus to see how we play that. Okay, so we have to press play and pause to begin. Uh, we're going to tune, so we're going to hit up instead, or down instead this time. And then we're going to hit B2. So we're going to hit 1, and it's a natural note. So we're going to hit power, and we want to, we want the high one, so 9. Okay, so now it's listening for 123.5 hertz. So let's see how close we can get. <laughs> See, it immediately goes back into chaos after it's done. What it's doing is it's using fast Fourier transform to listen to the audio signal and it's processing through all these uh, different chunks of data, breaking it into uh, constituent sine waves and seeing which one has the most weight. And the one that wins is the one that it's uh, playing. So one last thing I wanted to talk about is something that comes up a lot in music theory, it's something called overtones and the multiples of frequencies, um, the whole number of multiples, sometimes appear. And uh, the combination of these is what gives an instrument its characteristic sound. So you might hear the same uh, the pitch on two different instruments, but the combination of their overtones is what makes like a violin sound like a violin versus a piano. So in the case of the tuba, certain notes, the overtones sometimes can be stronger than the note itself. And uh, the tuner really likes to pick up on these notes. So um, on the last demonstration with B natural too, sometimes it picks up twice of, of what was it, 123.5. So um, this time I'm gonna play B flat two and you can see how it's probably gonna be double what it's picking up on. So let's go ahead and get to the menus again. Okay, one sixteen point five. So anticipate twice that. All right, 
Well, that's about all I have. Um, the overtone correction is something I'd like to work on in the future with this product. Um, I really think I could add some switch and case statements in there for specific notes to account for the fact that sometimes you hear those multiples of the frequency. But overall, I feel like I learned a lot from this project and I was able to combine my interests a little bit, and I hope you enjoyed. Thanks.